Hello everyone, and welcome to this month's unboxing video for the Paper Gang monthly subscription box. Um, on the box it looks so beautiful and summery. Um, I'm assuming these are gouache. Um, beautiful details, uh, floral blooms. Um, on the back there's cutouts to make uh, your own gift tags. This is exactly how it arrived in the post, so no plastic covering or anything, which I'm fine with. It's going to be interesting to see what happens in the winter though, but we'll see. So let's open this up. I'm sorry about my voice. I don't know what's going on with it. I just sound really sort of deep, <laughs> deeper than normal, so I do apologize for that. Oh, when I can. They've put different, they've printed their own sort of side things. They're a lot thicker than the plastic tape that they were using, but again, no plastic. So another win for the environment. Let's just see if we can just, they've got their own advertisements on these as well, which is another thing. It's easier to print on paper labels than it is um, but, uh, plastic. So let's open this up. So there we go, just a normal sleeve. Put that there, turn this around. Da -da -da -da, open up. Ooh! First off, <laughs> we have a patch. I've no I've seen these on other um, YouTube videos. I've never actually got one myself. I think this is, yeah, this is an iron, iron, iron on transfer patch. Um, I, hello, I'm Drew. I'm the leader of the paper gang. I'm an iron on patch to make your membership official. Oh, wonderful. I really like this little goofy design. I think it actually reminds me of um, like a 90s Carty's like Hey Arnold sort of style. So yeah, that's quite nice. So let's unwrap the tissue paper, which is a nice navy blue, which I always reuse. <laughs> let's flip it about the original way, so. I did that in the, the most awkward way this, <laughs> this time. So there's our little booklet, which um, we'll open up at the end and have a look at. So straight off the bat, we have got some stickers. Again, the usual um, feel and quality that you'd expect from a deer. Um, these are really nice. I'm trying to figure out the paint because I know it's not um, watercolor, but it's it's not, or maybe it is acrylic, I don't know. I'm sure it'll tell us in the booklet. But the, yeah, these are really nice. Um, I really like these. With love for you and note to you. I like those. I'm gonna have to take out the pen straight away. Ooh. Why are you not focusing? What is going on? Is it focusing? Is it because it needs my hand behind it? Is that what it is? Ah, you can just make it out there where it says it's got Odea imprinted on it. Um, I think this is just a twist pen and the usual ballpoint pen. Um, what can we test it on? What can we test it on? Uh, we really need to get some just like random paper just to play inside. She said that she's walking off into the distance. <laughs> Alright, here's some sticky notes from a previous, I think it's a mystery box I got this one in actually. Oh, so it's blue. Oh, it's actually really smooth. Oh, yeah. That's quite nice. It's a good weight as well. I find sometimes, especially the really nice expensive pens, they can be a little bit weighty. But 
some people like that, so I don't know. But that's a nice light pen. It's different. Um, so oh, we'll go to the notes book. Notes. This is a nice lined. They. Ooh, we've got gold staples. Where can you see there? Instead of the standard silver ones, but this is a yeah A6. It says right there on the barcode. Yeah, so this is a nice little A6 size um, thing again with the same pattern. I really like this. I'm still trying to figure out the paint. I'm I'm convinced it's gouache, thickly laid, but I don't. We'll see. We shall see. Um, next up is. Is this all put yet? Oh, for you. For me, what is for me? Oh, these individual. Ah, oh, let's, let's get the band off. Let's have a good look. So, paperback and to keep it all sturdy. Oh, I think these are like, um, the stationery sets that you used to get, or you still can get, but they used to be really popular back in the days when everybody was writing letters and had pen pals. I remember getting a really cool, cute one at school when I ha was forced to write to a pen pal. But I actually missed that. I thought that was a fantastic thing. Not back then, I didn't. I hated it. But now, <laughs> I think, hmm, it'd be nice to have pen pals again. Um... But yeah, I really like it. Simple design on the top. Well, not simple. It's actually a highly detailed, colourful design on the top with a couple of specks. I'm a little bit disappointed. I kind of would have done the specks with a little bit of gold foil, but that's just me. But perhaps it would have taken away from the colour pack. I don't know. But I would have played around with that. Um, so yeah, on the other part. I'm assuming these are just the envelopes to go. I don't want to tear the band. Ah, it says there, A5 letter set. See, I get so distracted with the beauty of these things sometimes that I just ignore words. So yeah, just put that to the side. So yeah, these are just the envelopes. So there are quite a few of them. But on the inside of the envelopes, again, you've got the pattern. So that's a really nice touch. Um, and then obviously, oh dear, embossed, like they usually do on their typical envelopes. But I really like it. It's a nice sort of tactile uh, thing to it. Thing? Yeah, I'm so good at these unboxing videos. <laughs> thing, that's there, here's there. But yeah, that's a really nice touch, putting the design inside. Um, it, makes it, it makes it all come together. Um, again, we have another blank monthly, which I don't end up using, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, um, I don't know, maybe, because I'm starting to collect quite a few of them now, so perhaps I could, hmm, I might do something with them later in the year, perhaps for next year. Um, what's this? Ooh, is this a pencil case? It's a big pencil case. Maybe it's a makeup bag. Oh, it could be a make makeup bag. It's got like a... Uh, is it waterproof? No, it could be waterproof. But yeah, um, is this a pencil case or a make makeup bag? Or even a device bag. You could probably put your iPad mini or whatever inside here. But yeah, I really like this. The, my only problem is, maybe it's intentional, maybe not, but the colours, if you look there, like on the original design, it's a much more, I don't want to say dull, but flat, I suppose. Whereas on the fabric, it's very neon. So it kind of makes it a different pattern, if that makes any sense. Like... Hang on, is that the exact same? Let's see if I can line it up perfectly. Oh, 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 oh. Think about the, yeah, can you see that? Yeah, but uh, anyway, <laughs> I'm getting distracted. Um, 
yeah, it's a really vibrant pattern. It sort of makes it a different pattern. I do prefer the flat, sort of mu muted, that's the word, muted, not dull, muted, um, colors of this compared to this. But when they're not together, I suppose you might not notice. Um, but yeah, I really like this. I'm just trying to think, what can I use it for? Because it's too big for a simple pencil case, but maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We will find some use. But yeah, here's the little booklet that we get every month so we can find out who the designer is. Chloe Hall. Your limited edition contents. Are they limited edition or can you buy them on the website? Mm, perhaps not. Oh, it's a document holder. A doc ah! Right, okay. Let's go for the list. <laughs> We've got the letter set, which was the envelopes and the beautiful papers with a note for you. So that's the letter set. Um, the A6 notebook, which we were smart enough to figure that one out. Um, a document holder, this is. But it's too small to be a document holder. The document holder is A4, no? So I would imagine this is A5. So it's big enough to put your um, letter set in, in your pen. Well, it's big enough to put everything in this box in there. Um, and then we've got some stickers and a bullet pen. Um, the artist is Chloe Hall, as I literally just said. Um, at Paper Gown, we love nothing more than pastels and plants. So we, so much so we've chosen illustrator Chloe Hall as our artist this month. Chloe creates calming patterns inspired by nature and aims to bring that little bit of outdoors indoors. Well, she's definitely achieved that. <laughs> um, looks like she does pottery as well. So, okay, okay. Chloe is based in the Midlands. Da, da, da. I want to know what the paint is. I want to know what the paint is. Perhaps it is like um, glazing from the potteries when they've taken the image from there. Um, I don't know what the paint is. A batch of paintings. Da, da, da. Quick. It does say quick. See, I'm not imagining uh, simple quick watercolor illustrations and line drawings. But it's too thick to be, unless I'm using watercolor completely wrong, which is a possibility because I've not used them for such a long time. But yeah, I love these little books that, you know, introduces you to the artist. And when there's a design I really like, I actually go on further and investigate them more. And I do tend to buy directly for, from them as well. Um, oh, speaking of pen pals, <laughs> when I was just mentioned earlier about pen pals from school, um, yeah, so this looks like a pen pals with at slug mail. For our July paper gang box, we themed all our station around letter writing. In need of a lovely pen pal inspiration, we asked Rosie at slug mail to send us some of her amazing letters featuring all sorts of textures, calligraphy tapes. Rosie demonstrates how fun it is to be going back to the basics. All right, so I wonder if... That is some sort of um, website or something that you can, um, I don't know, I'll have to investigate that. It'll be quite interesting to have a pen pal again. Especially as an adult, you can talk about so much more stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I, again, I'm quite, overall, I'm very pleased with this box, as usual. Um, I'm still a bit distracted by this. I'm like, a document holder? No, but I don't know. It, uh, rules are there to be broken. So they don't, it doesn't have to be used as a document holder. But yeah, I'm I'm pleased by this mum's um, set. I've had that covering the other camera for ages, but oops. Yeah, I'm trying to do a two camera thing as well and get rather than just one overview flat. Um, so yeah, I really like this mum's theme. I think it's lovely and summery and just gorgeous, to be honest with you. I mean, 
yeah, I just I don't know what else to say about the design because I, I I just like it. You know, when you just really like something, there's not much more words to sort of say other than I like it a lot, <laughs> you know, sort of thing. But yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video and found it of some use to you. Um, I'm not sponsored by Paper Gang or Oh Dear at all. Um, this is come out of my own money. I'll hopefully see you again next month. Thanks for watching. Bye.